And we are live. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we will be discussing Coinbase. Recently, Coinbase announced that it would be suspending its affiliate program, where if you referred someone, you would get a $5 commission and reward for doing so. Also, recently, they laid off about 18% of their employees. Then, in certain jurisdictions, they started implementing new rules in regards to how you can withdraw your crypto off of their platform in regards to you having to actually give up identifying information of the party that you're sending crypto to in their actual name and physical address. Now, we just witnessed Celsius Network file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection, and we watched Voyager Digital file for bankruptcy. Then we know that Nexo and uh, BlockFi is also in trouble. And if you've been following me for an extended period of time, you will constantly hear me say to you things such as, not your keys, not your crypto. Meaning that if you do not control the private keys, then you do not actually have full control of, over your asset. And crypto is different than the stock market and buying shares of an asset. Why? Because most people don't take custody of their actual stock certificates. When you buy 100 shares of Apple, you're not actually taking you know, custody of that asset. So what begins to happen is that these exchanges and borrowing and lending platforms that are pretending to be in the crypto industry or crypto space are operating like traditional brokerages or banks without the protections. And what they're doing is when you deposit your crypto there or you, put, you actually stake your crypto there, they're taking your crypto and they're actually lending it out to other institutions and speculators to go speculate or they're trying to do DeFi and earn yield for you. And then they end up getting hacked or they put it in something like Terra, Luna, UST, and it collapses. And then now what happens is that they don't have enough crypto on hand to give to you when you actually want your crypto or you want to convert your crypto into fiat. And they end up having to file bankruptcy. Here's something that you should take away. If your cryptocurrency lending platform or company or institution has a CEO, has an executive, then it's not a cryptocurrency. It's a bank or a hedge fund pretending to be a cryptocurrency. Because what have I been saying to you for the longest? This technology was created to remove middlemen like Coinbase, Celsius, BlockFi, Nexo out of the equation. But because many of you are lazy, also, many of you don't really understand the technology. You don't know why you're here. You don't even know why cryptocurrencies exist in, exist in the first place. You're simply buying things and doing things because someone else told you to do it, right? You came across your favorite influencer or someone like Alex from the, the actual CEO of Celsius or other well-known personalities, people like Pomp, who's talking to you about BlockFi, and you simply go... And you follow these individuals, and that becomes one of the biggest problems. Uh, someone said that my volume is low. Is, can everyone hear me, or is it just Alexander Wilson that's having this problem? Uh, guys, just simply type one if you can hear me nice and clearly, because uh, someone said my volume is low. Okay, everyone seems to be good. So maybe you just need to turn up the volume on your end, Alexander Wilson. Also, I will be teaching you how to properly use decentralized finance how to actually use yield optimizers later on in this video. Because, see, you have a lot of people, a lot of master investors, quote-unquote influencers, credit gurus, stock traders, who all of a sudden have become cryptocurrency experts. They're financial literacy gurus. And now they can tell you about what is decentralization and what isn't decentralization. DeFi has not failed you. Ave. Maker, Compound, they're performing in a decentralized manner the way that they were intended to perform. Crypto was created to be borderless, permissionless, and censorship resistant. And if you're interacting with smart contracts, if you're using decentralized exchanges like Uniswap, if you have a Nano Ledger X or a hardware wallet, you're not worried about any of this stuff. 
The only people that are worried are the people who truly don't know what they're doing and they're following these influencers and individuals who are leading them astray. This is why I promise you what I'm going to teach you later on in this video about how to really earn yield in a passive way without giving up your crypto to someone else. You don't need Celsius. You don't need BlockFi. You don't need Nexo. You don't need these institutions or platforms. So when I hear people trying to lump in those institutions with crypto, I know that you're dealing with someone who either one has an agenda or two, they're just misinformed and ill-informed. And because crypto is popular, you, you have a lot of people who, now that the market is down, they have quotas that they need to meet, benchmarks, right? Because they have sponsors, right? Because they have all of these celebrities and they're doing it for the culture. So they have to maintain a certain level of viewership. So they're putting out hot takes to get you to click on their videos and watch their videos. They're not educating you. That's not financial literacy, right? Someone sitting there and reading the news to you isn't financial literacy. Financial literacy is educating you on how you could be more financially astute and actually pointing you in directions as to where you can get more information from, not just giving you affiliate links for courses to actually go out and buy. So later on, I will be teaching you about Beefy Finance, which is a yield optimizer and showing you how you can earn 10, 15, 20% or even more passively on your crypto. Now, obviously, the higher the yield, the more risk is in the particular protocol. This is where real financial literacy comes into play, not posing with a bunch of celebrities and going on hip hop podcasts, but understanding risk and reward, understanding what is decentralization, understanding what is a decentralized exchange, what is a yield optimizer, because what Celsius and BlockFi were pretending to do, you can do on your own. You don't need to go and give your assets to middlemen. You can go and do these things for yourself. So please do me a favor as you come into the live stream, like this video, share this video, make sure that you subscribe and set the notification bell to all so that you can receive all of my notifications. Now, YouTube does not like to send out my notifications. So please do me a favor and simply Text the number below in the description, text the word YouTube to that number, and you will be added to my text message list so that if I have any announcements, any information I need to share with you, I'll simply be able to text you and let you know when I'm going live or any other relevant information to me and my content. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, shoot me a DM if you have any questions, any concerns. I share more frequent content there in regards to stories and posts. Uh, also, I am the founder and creator of My Tech Academy, where we cover all things crypto, how to buy, how to sell, how to store your crypto properly, how to actually build and construct a solid, well-balanced portfolio. We cover NFTs. We dive into decentralized finance, also known as DeFi. We teach you how to stake your cryptocurrencies, how to yield farm, and how to earn passive income with your crypto. If this is something that you're interested in, and many of you need this information, this is why I created my Tech Academy, where you can come into a safe space and learn and educate yourself and not have to worry about the founder or the creator of that group, of that Discord, constantly trying to pitch you a new coin of this week. I don't pitch anything in that group. I do not get paid by any other cryptocurrency platforms or exchanges, or et cetera, to promote things to you. I simply talk to you about things that I have skin in the game with, meaning I have money invested or products and services that I use. If you're looking for a safe community to come and learn in, a link to My Tech Academy is in the description below. We have a free three-day trial. Please come and test it out. As long as you cancel within the first three days, you will not be charged. Now, we just restarted our coding bootcamp. The first two weeks of the coding bootcamp is available inside of the actual My Tech Academy portal. We're starting with CSS and JavaScript. By the third week, we'll be moving into, you no, know, we're starting with CSS and HTML, excuse me, and then we're moving into JavaScript going into the third week, and then eventually we're going to elevate into uh, smart contracts and the Solidity Programming Language for Ethereum. So I'm excited about that. Again, free three-day trial. Come test it out. See if you like it. Also, I have two investment opportunities. The first investment opportunity is the DeFi investment opportunity. 
The minimum investment for that opportunity is $25,000. And then I have a node investment opportunity and the minimum investment for that is $5,000. If you are someone that's interested in these opportunities, what you need to do is DM me on Instagram, the word invest, and then I'm going to send you a video breaking down both of these investments if you're interested. After that, you are going to send me the word yes if you're interested with both your name and email, and then you and I are going to schedule a Zoom call. Please do not send money to anyone without speaking to me face-to-face -face via Zoom. There are a lot of people, a lot of people that are making fake pages and pretending to be me and reaching out to you, asking you for money. I would never DM you first. I will never ask you for to send me money. Uh -huh. I'm not trapped anywhere or anything like that. So please use some discernment. A link to my Instagram is in the description below. Make sure that you are following the correct page and make sure that you are speaking to the correct individual. With that being said, guys, make sure that uh, you can hear me and see me clearly. Simply type one and we can get started. Okay, that's good. Okay, some of you are saying that it's lower than uh, normal. I think that I'm fine. You know what? Let me just do a quick sound check here. Lower than uh, normal. Uh, no, I just checked it. I'm definitely good. So the volume's good. So here we go. It says <clears throat> Coinbase cites bear market for suspending affiliate program with influencers. And I want to make this clear. I am not saying that Coinbase is bankrupt. What I'm saying to you is that I've been around long enough to know that in crypto, where there is smoke, there's most likely fire. And when you start seeing an exchange doing stuff like this, you need to be very, very mindful of what's going on, that there could potentially be some type of a problem there. And I just want to make sure that you guys understand that, you know, because you have to use your words wisely. But just like many people didn't believe that Celsius would go uh, bankrupt or, or file for a Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection, similar to Voyager Digital, every cycle, there's always going to be uh, some type of a blow up, whether it was Mt. Gox, I got burned in Mt. Gox, whether it's something like a BitConnect or Quadrica. Again, what happens is that people don't really know what they're, un what they're doing and understand the risk. And again, when I start seeing stuff like this, it definitely shows me that something's wrong here. Now, again, I'm not saying to you that Coinbase is bankrupt, but clearly they're having issues over there for them to suspend the affiliate program. It says, as it continues to draw down on spending, Coinbase is temporarily shutting down its U.S. affiliate marketing program, according to Business Insider. Influencers, part of the program aimed at acquiring new users through social media were notified via email that their commissions would be going away starting tomorrow, according to emails reviewed by Business Insider. Coinbase's decision comes at a time when many Web3 companies are looking for ways to cut costs amid a slump in cryptocurrency prices. So right here, it says Coinbase just shut down their entire affiliate program. This is a major red flag. I fear that a liquidity crisis is on the horizon. Because effectively, what was happening with many of these institutions, and again, this is a rumor. I have to use my words wisely, but, you know, read between the lines. Effectively, what was happening between all of these exchanges and lending platforms is effectively they really was just doing a circle jerk where I'm borrowing from you, you're borrowing from me, I'm lending to this one, I'm lending to this institution. And what happens is that you create a row of dominoes. And when the market's going up, everything is great. Everyone's making money. Everything's fine. So the dominoes are not falling. But then what begins to happen is that one of these institutions gets too greedy. Some institutions like 3A, uh, 3AC, Three Arrows Capital, and they over leveraged themselves. And then because they've borrowed from all of these exchanges and brokerages, then now if I loaned you, let's say a billion dollars, and you lost that billion dollars in UST, well, then now I have a billion dollar hole on my balance sheet, right? And because I borrowed money from this institution, 
Well, then they have a billion dollar hole in their balance sheet. And what begins to happen is that it's just a house of cards because effectively, and banks do this all the time, where they create all of these derivatives and debt instruments to basically keep uh, hypothecating an asset over and over and over again, where it's like, there's only really one share or there's really only a hundred dollars, but because they was able to rehypothecate it and basically do a double entry accounting on their balance sheet, that hundred dollars is now an asset and it's also a debt. And they keep just passing it on to another person, another person. Basically now there really is only a hundred dollars of actual cash, but basically they've extended credit to all of these other institutions or all of these other speculators. And then now the domino comes crashing down. And this is what the problem, this is the one that's like the boom and bust effect. And it happens all the time. You have to know what you own and why you own it. And you have to make sure that you actually are taking custody of your crypto assets, that you have your crypto assets on a hardware wallet, like a Ledger Nano X. And for those of you who do not have one of those, a link to purchase one is in my description below or even a MetaMask wallet. It's a hot wallet. It's a mobile wallet, but you do get to control your, uh, private, uh, your private keys with a MetaMask wallet. So <clears throat> they basically nixed this um, affiliate program. That's definitely because what is $5? Like ask yourself a legitimate question. $5 isn't a lot of money. So if you have to turn around and cut a program that basically is, is actually bringing revenue to you, because you have to think about it, it's hard to acquire a customer. So if I have to get rid of a program that definitely should have been profitable, that has to make you start thinking to yourself, wow, you know, $5 is that serious to you and your bottom line? Then right on cue, Coinbase to cut workforce by 18% amid wide crypto sell-off. This was on June 15th. Again, history doesn't repeat itself, but it damn sure rhymes. And when I start seeing stuff like this, I say to myself, this doesn't look good. This looks like two similar things that actually has happened before. It says Coinbase plans to lay off 1,100 employees or 18% of its workforce, CEO Brian Armstrong said. Tuesday, marking yet another cryptocurrency exchange that has slashed jobs in recent weeks. We appear to be entering a recession after a 10 plus year economic boom, Armstrong said in a company blog post, a recession that could lead to another crypto winter and could last for an extended period, he wrote, referring to a period where cryptocurrency prices fall and stay low for weeks on end. Again, follow the pattern here. Follow the dominoes that are laid out in front of you. Cutting the affiliate program. We just watched Celsius file for bankruptcy. We just watched Voyager file for bankruptcy. We know that for a fact they were lending crypto to each other. Okay. So we know that (laughs) if there's smoke, there's fire. Now, this is something that came out a few months ago, back on March 31st. Go here and refresh this. So this right here stood out to me for sure when I came across this. It says... Right here, that's highlighted. Moreover, because custodially held crypto assets may be considered to be property of a bankruptcy estate, in the event of a bankruptcy, the crypto assets we hold in custody on behalf of our customers could be subject to bankruptcy proceedings, and such customers could be treated as our general unsecured creditors. So effectively, if they have to file bankruptcy, they may be able to use your assets to basically try to pay down some of their debt. Basically, you're going to probably have to take a haircut in the event that they file bankruptcy, that file for bankruptcy. And we're watching the same thing happen right now with, you know, Celsius, uh, with BlockFi trying to go through a restructuring process, which is why, you know, I tell a lot of you guys to, you know, just be mindful of where your assets are being stored and who's actually holding your assets. Because again, you, you have to understand that this technology was created to get away from middlemen. Yet many of you are running to middlemen and saying, here, take my crypto. And then you have to beg for them to give you back your crypto. 
this is the complete opposite reason why crypto was created. It was not created for you to be giving your assets to middlemen. Then, right on cue, Coinbase users unable to withdraw to bank accounts. Some Coinbase users was running into this problem, right? So Coinbase user reports withdrawal issues. One of the users complained he wasn't able to withdraw USD after selling BTC from the platform, right? And we've seen this, ha we've, we've witnessed this happen so many times with Coinbase where they create all of these restrictions, you know, and rules or they'll lock you out of your account. And then this started circulating the other day, uh, starting on June 27th, Coinbase will introduce some changes required by local regulations, specifically when you send your crypto outside of Coinbase. We are required to ask you for the name and physical address of the recipient in the purpose of the transfer. In certain cases, we may require you to link a Coinbase wallet to your main Coinbase account in order to send crypto assets off the, uh, the Coinbase platform. This allows us to verify that you control the Coinbase wallet that is receiving the crypto assets, which is a requirement under Dutch regulations. Again, this is a problem. <laughs> crypto was not created for you to have to be giving up your identity, right? There's a certain level of anonymity that you deserve to have when conducting and transacting on crypto. So when you start seeing stuff like this, the, there's enough red flags here to say to yourself, I don't know if Coinbase is or isn't bankrupt, but we just watched Celsius file for bankruptcy and we just watched it happen to Voyager and we know that BlockFi is in trouble as well. There's enough right in front of you to say, let me just simply take custody of my asset and get them off now. Do not wait until the last minute. I also, I just witnessed a donation come through. Um, thank you, Master IT Certification Training. Uh, them axing the affiliate program is definitely a cause uh, for concern. Absolutely. And then we're turning around here. So this is also the share price right now of the Coinbase stock. And you can see that the stock has literally just been obliterated. It's literally done nothing but just go down. It's at $58.67 right now. So clearly, there are issues going on with Coinbase. Uh, and again, I'll, I'll rather be wrong, but make sure that you guys are prepared than be right. And you end up in a situation where Coinbase is insolvent and they don't actually have enough crypto or cash on hand to meet their customers' requirements. And then right on cue, we have good old Celsius network. And <laughs> there were so many people who were raising uh, questions about Celsius for years. And as I've said to you guys before, time and time again, if your cryptocurrency has a CEO, if the project or the lending platform has an executive team, if it is trying to mimic a bank, right, then it's not crypto. And this goes back to, like I said before, with many of these quote unquote, you know, master investors and financial literacy platforms who they're so critical of crypto, but they don't really even know what crypto truly is. Because see, if you fully understand crypto, then you know stuff like Celsius isn't crypto. They're, these are grifters. These are schemers who are coming into this industry and posing to be a part of crypto as a way to grift and extract resources. These are not people who that actually believe in true decentralization. These are people who are coming here and b figuring out ways to manipulate people to get them out of their money. And if you understand these things, you won't fall for this. I've been doing this long enough to know what to watch out for. Now, breaking news. And <laughs> I want you to look at this. this per I don't know if this person is being sarcastic, um, but this is part of the problem here too. It says, the Celsius Network presentation just got published for Monday's court hearing. We need to find out more details, but this looks damn positive to me. This is not positive at all. And what he's basically saying is, give it a second to load. It says right here, file and confirm a chapter 11 plan that will I provide customers, I'm assuming one, provide customers with the option 
at the customer's election to recover either cash at a discount, meaning you're going to take a loss, or remain long crypto. Two, maximize returns for stakeholders. And three, reorganize the Celsius business. So effectively, what they're going to do is basically try to use some of your assets to pay down some of their debt and basically give you pennies on a dollar. That's effectively what they did because they pay back their Bitcoin loan. And I put up this post a couple of weeks ago talking about this, where I said Celsius Network has paid back over $150 million of its Bitcoin backed loan. This now drops Celsius Network liquidations price, liquidation price to $2,722.06. This doesn't mean that everything is fixed with Celsius, though. I believe they are paying down their debts to get an understanding of total liabilities on their balance sheet. It is rumored that they have a $2 billion hole on their balance sheet. If this is true, clients of Celsius Network will likely take a loss, but they will be able to get back some of their money. And I made this post about almost two weeks ago where I was talking about this. And if you simply come over here and you look at their quote unquote balance sheet, this is, this is laughable to me that right here, they're talking about their liabilities that they have here. And then they're talking about the assets that they have here. And effectively what they're saying is that they have mining equipment that's worth $720 million, right? And that the Celsius token is worth $600 million, which is a joke to even count those two things as a quote unquote asset, because we know that mining equipment, the actual value goes down over time as you use it. And we know that if the Bitcoin price is down and the Ethereum price is down, then most likely the mining equipment's value is going to be down. And if we look at the Celsius token, the Celsius token is basically worthless at this point. So they're basically saying that they have a $1.1 billion hole. But if you factor in the Celsius token and the mining equipment as being losses as well, it's definitely $2 billion, which basically, you know, leads me to my conclusion that I said they have a $2 billion hole in their balance sheet. And at this point, you can't trust anything that Alex says out of his mouth. And I want to get to some of the things that he's been saying over time. And then now looking at where we currently are with Celsius. So let's go here. Let's listen to this. All of us, we want to work together. We all should huddle together, hold hands together. Maxis we will bring more people that don't know how to manage their keys. Let me tell everybody, right? 30% of all the Bitcoin is gone because of the Bitcoin maxis, because they told you to hold your own keys. And then everybody lost their keys. Now it's good for them because they know how to hold their keys. And when you lose your Bitcoin, their Bitcoin is worth more, right? So they're talking their own book. That's not good for you. Right. And like I said, 90 over 90 percent of the people in the world cannot manage their own keys, do not know how to reset password, don't know how to keep these things safe. And the only way that all of our coins are worth more is if we can bring a few hundred million more people to crypto. If we can bring them in and keep them safe, your Bitcoin, your Ethereum, your cell token is not going to be worth more. What about Celsius? Not your keys, not your coins. You give your coins to someone else, don't be surprised when you lose all your money. And shout out to Richard Hart. Um, I've been saying this for a very, very long time. If you've been in crypto for a while, we've witnessed these things happen time and time again. If you give your crypto to people like Alex Mashinsky, you are going to lose your crypto. And now it goes from Oh, just give us your crypto. We'll do everything right. And now this is him and his actual hearing right here. This is the face he has right now, right? It's a joke, man, uh, following and listening to these individuals. And as I said, in a little while, I'm going to actually walk you through how you can do the same thing Celsius was doing, where you don't need a third party or middleman to earn 6%, 7%, 8% on your money. You can do these things in a decentralized manner without giving up your private keys. And if you do not know what a private key is, if you do not know and understand the things that I'm saying to you, this is why you need to be involved in my tech academy. 
right? Or this is why you need to be seeking more information so that you can know what the hell you're doing. This way you won't get burned. Um, if you come over here, let's, let's gonna look at this video. You know, these videos are just laughable to me. For example, Celsius has 900 employees. We raised one of the largest rounds of funding, 750 million. We have an open, right? We have all the things. We have more proofs than any bank. We tell you exactly how do we make money? Where do we deploy? What percentage goes here? We show you every week, we show our financials, right? We, for example, Celsius has 900 employees. We raised one of the largest rounds of funding, 750 million. We have an open book. We have proof of reserves, right? We have all the things. We have more proofs than any bank. We tell you exactly how. Yes. Um, you know, you, you, you have all my money. I've had all my money. Yes. With... True. Can I take a big loan for a change? Sure. Take okay. a loan. Money. Yes. That's good. You're oh. gonna take a big oh. loan. I'm gonna lock you up. Bro. What? What is that? Um. No. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm. I'm just gonna put it back. I don't, I don't need that. At Celsius, we don't lock you up. We always act in your best interest. So, are you gonna use the bank or are you gonna use Celsius? I've known you for such a long time. Yes. Um, you know, you, you, you have all my money. I've had all my money yes, with you I for do. 20 years. True. Can I take a big loan for a change? Sure. Take okay. a loan. Okay. Wow. That's a lot of money here. Yes. That's good. Hey, wait a minute. Huh? You're going to take a big huh? loan? I'm going to lock you up for a long time. What? What is that? Um, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to put it back. I don't, I don't need that. At Celsius, we don't lock you up. We always act in your best interest. So are you going to use the bank or are you going to use Celsius? Again, <laughs> you, you, you see these charismatic personalities. They come time and time again into crypto. They, the same thing with Do Kwan, with uh, you know, Luna. Uh, these individuals come and they have all of this charisma, they're so smart. They, what they're doing, it's, it's so complicated that you can't do it yourself. You can't store your own keys. So just give it to us. Let us do it for you. And then when everything is going well, everyone's a genius. You have all of the trolls on online and the idiots who, you know, the hype beast, the apes who jump into these things and everyone's champion BitConnect, right? While everything's going up and then poof, you wake up and now your money's gone. Right. Get away from cult of personality. Get away from being crypto was not designed for you to be following one man. One man should not be the end all be all to your project or to your ability to make money. Um, if you fall for these things, you're going to get burned every time. As I said earlier, I do not know with any high degree of certainty whether or not Coinbase is or isn't bankrupt or insolvent. But what I do know is that I've been doing this for long enough to see that there's a pattern going on here. In the same way that Celsius had all of this bravado and they were so sure, in the same way that Voyager was so sure, when I was telling you for years now, get your crypto from these places, they end up filing bankruptcy. So the safest thing to do so that you don't have to end up having a clown like this get rich off you, because I guarantee you, I guarantee you that while they knew they were insolvent, I guarantee that the executive branch and executive teams of these, that, that company institution, I bet you their crypto wasn't locked up. I guarantee you that while for months when they knew that they could potentially be insolvent, they were making sure that they can get their crypto off of there. I guarantee you, when, as you actually go through the bankruptcy proceedings and you start to find out information, you're going to start to see that Hmm. they probably were taking their crypto off of the exchanges or off of that platform. Here's another video. This is the last one I'll play before I get into some more information. Hey, 
working with Avi. We're working in conjunction with them. To, uh, we provide the liquidity. Actually, Compound and Avi pays a huge portion of your yield, right? Because they pay us fees. Right? When we provide liquidity for Avi, they pay us fees. The other user on Avi pay us fees for your liquidity and you get to keep most of it, right? That is the beauty of it. Now, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to know all the security stuff, right? And, and Celsius takes full responsibility. If anything goes bad, we take full responsibility. That's part of why we raised the 750 million. And, and now we have over $2 billion on our balance sheet. Again, more than anybody else. Ask Nexo how much they have on their balance sheet, right? How much they have on their balance sheet, right? Ask all these people. Right, so what's important for you is you need to know, okay, are these, if something goes wrong, are these people going to stand behind or they're going to say, sorry, I don't cover it, it's your loss, sorry, goodbye, you know, take, take it or leave it, and so on. Why? Because of cash, right? And they don't try to build a long-term business, right? They just try to grab fees from them. So all these things matter. And Celsius was tested every year. We were tested several times. Sometimes the market drops 50%. The Celsius doing good? Yep, Celsius doing good. Something, something bad happens with the Celsius deployment. Is Celsius standing behind it? Yep, they're standing behind it. That's where companies are tested, right? Because when they when they blow up, or when they uh, run away, or when they don't perform, or they don't deliver, it's too late for you. You cannot just go back in your decision, right? So those are all the things that Celsius shines, right? And that's why you should join. These individuals are disgusting. They're absolutely parasites and disgusting. The irony of the fact that he could even come here and say these things, that everything's okay. You don't have to worry about anything. Just give us your crypto. You don't have to worry about security. You don't have to worry about the difficult things. We got you covered. And because we have so much cash, we have so much cash, you don't have to worry about anything. Because if anything goes wrong, Celsius are taking on. These are not my words. These are his words. And then we come over here and we go, wow, that was a lie. <laughs> we come over here and we look at the balance sheet. We go, um, looks like you don't have that much cash. <laughs> you know, when you've been doing this as long as I've been doing it, nothing surprises you or shocks you anymore. Um, you, you, you watch these things happen time and time again. And then you have the people who are uninformed, ill-informed, the sheeple, they're going to say, we need regulations. We just, see, if we just had more regulations, it would stop this from happening. Newsflash, regulations doesn't stop people from committing fraud. Right? Because think about it. If I don't know what I'm talking about. Go look at the savings and loan crisis. Why did the FDIC get created in the first place? Right? And yet we still have fraud going on in the financial system time and time again. Over and over again, we, we just went through the Great Recession. We had the LIBOR rigging scandal. Like, I, like we had Bernie Madoff. Like, criminals are going to be criminals. And re regulations do not protect you from criminals. Just don't. Which is why the technology was created. To remove middlemen out of the equation. So that you don't have to trust the smartest guy in the room. There was Enron. Someone just talked about it. Another large scandal that went down on Wall Street. Like, you know, I laugh when I hear people talk about regulation. See, in most cases, what regulations allows is for institutions and individuals to collude together to block out competition. Like John D. Rockefeller said and stated, competition is a sin. So they make it onerous and very expensive for you to even be able to enter into that field enter into that industry. You know, regulations do not protect you. It, cre it, it creates a, a hit squad, a pay for hire squad that can, you know, be manipulated to go against people and go against people's favor and violate people's rights. It's, it's like, it's laughable when I see these things. Now, what I want to do is I want to talk about decentralized finance because you have these platforms, podcasts, YouTube channels, uh, that are based on financial literacy. And they have people that are master investors that have crystal balls. And they can tell you about what's, de what's decentralized and what isn't decentralized. Um, DeFi is not failing right now. Crypto isn't failing. 
What's failing is traditional finance. See, what Alex was doing at Celsius is what they do on Wall Street all day long, rehypothecating assets, right? Lending out assets that they don't have. We watch these things happen over and over and over again on Wall Street. But you can't do that with crypto because people can take custody of their assets. Decentralized protocols like Maker, Aave, and Compound are performing just like they need to perform. I'm going to show you right now Beefy Finance, which is a yield optimizer, where I can come here, and if I launch this application, and I promise you, you're not going to see this type of stuff on any other platform. You're not going to come across this type of information on any of these other platforms where they're actually going to teach you and show you how to actually use the technology in a decentralized way. Instead, what you're going to come across is a bunch of people who are going to sit up here and tell you, you know, why something won't work or why something isn't decentralized, or they're going to be able to sit up here and talk to you about, you know, which celebrity that they're with at the moment or the new conference that they have. And let me close some of these windows just so that we can make this move a little bit faster. Because for some reason, my internet is moving extremely slow. So let's come here and let's refresh this. There's a storm in my area, so I guess it must be affecting my internet right now. I may lose you guys for a second. Okay, so let's go over here to all vaults. So now if I come over here, this is known as a yield optimizer, where I basically can come here and look across multiple blockchains at one time, and I can see what is the actual APY that these different chains are paying out. Now, as you can see here, these are all EVM compatible chains. So we have Avalanche, we have Polygon, over here we have Phantom. And if I just exit out here, you can see these are all of the different chains that are compatible with the Ethereum virtual machine. And now I can come over here and I can just basically look for different yields across different platforms. This is effectively what Celsius is doing or what BlockFi is doing, you can do these things on your own. I teach this stuff inside of the academy. And as you can see here, you can look for stable coins, blue chips inside of the beefy vault. So what I'm going to do now is look at stable coins on the Avalanche network. And then what I'm going to do is you can simply type in USDC. And right now, these are the interest rates right now that you can earn on USDC with other pairs. USDC is a stable coin. It is pegged one to one for a, with a dollar. And the good thing about USDC, again, although I'm against the quote unquote idea of centralization is it is backed by actual dollars. It's not algorithmic, something like UST. And what I can do now is I can click on this if I wanted to come over here and you can see that it's relatively safe. The rating is 9.7, a safety score. You can see that it has low complexity in its strategy. The strategy is battle tested, very low or zero expected and permanent loss, and it has a medium market capitalization. And it even tells you the actual strategy that they're using. So it says the vault deposits the users my-AV3CRV in a my farm, right? So basically it's doing some liquidity mining and farming for you, earning the platform's governance token. The earn token is swapped for more of the underlying asset in order to acquire more of the same liquidity token. To complete the compounding cycle, the new my-AV3CRV is added to the farm, ready to go to the next earning event. The transaction cost required to do all of this is socialized among the Vault's users. So again, you can implement this strategy on your own if you wanted to, or you can use this yield optimizer to do it for you. And this way you'll save on gas fees where you don't have to keep spending a lot of money on gas fees. And let's get a flat snack out of here. Bye-bye. I mean, could you imagine like coming somewhere to just troll someone?
So let's get you out of here. You trolled enough. Bye-bye. So now what we can do is let's say that we wanted to actually come over here and actually deposit this. We can actually add liquidity. And I'm already on the actual Avalanche network here. This is in my MetaMask wallet that I'm using. So I'm not using a third-party exchange like Coinbase or someone to do this. I'm doing this in a decentralized way, utilizing my MetaMask wallet. And it's asking me to connect my wallet. Now my wallet's connected right here. And now what I need to do is come over here and switch over to the Avalanche network if the internet would work. And for whatever reason, just when I want to do the demonstration, I can't get it to work. Let me see something. All right. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 